What's up? So in this video, I'm going to tackle some of the trailer issues. Um, the trailer had a lot of issues from the start. So I'm going to work on replacing like the axle, the leaf springs and the bunks. But for those who are viewing this, this is not a how to uh, video. And let me show you why. That's my toolbox. That is my toolbox. And you don't want to listen and figure out things from a guy whose toolbox looks like that. So, <laughs> enjoy the video. It's a great day, I just got my new boat. It's back there. I'm in the middle of the road though because I didn't realize that the uh, one of the tires doesn't have any lug nuts. So the whole tire was coming off. I'll show you what it looks like. Boom. Here we are back in the boat into the lake house over at Nelson's place. He is so graciously allowing us to store the boat there while we work on the trailer. Good. It also Good. allows us the chance to check and see if there's any other issues with the boat, such as leaking. Well, I am checking back here and it doesn't appear to be leaking. I think if it were, it would be like a really slow leak, which is a good thing for us right now. But so far, I think everything's looking pretty dry. So that's good. Nelson is really awesome. He's an awesome guy. Here he is giving me some advice all along the way and even helping me take some of the parts off of the trailer. He's really just the coolest. Well, I finally got the axle off. Same thing with the springs. This one really tried my patience. I, uh, it's so loud <laughs> hitting this thing. I feel bad for my neighbors. Um, but yeah, I mean, just getting the rust, getting through these rusted bolts, you know, it was made easier because my buddy, he gave me some, let me borrow some of his tools, and I was using this, the PB blaster, and that really kind of helped get through there. But uh, yeah, finally I, finally I did it. What makes it more difficult is that the sun sets so early. So you get off of work and you get home to try to knock out some of this stuff, and it's like, you got like an hour, you know, if that, you know, 30 minute drive home, very short period of time, but this is essentially what I'm taking off the springs and the whole axle, replacing the whole thing because this is an old one. It's like the kind of bolts you go in through this way, it's super rusted and stuff. And uh, you know, these are already starting to break, and so I figure, and this is starting to puncture through at certain points, so the axle. Might as well just switch it out and then switching out these bunks. For now, I'm just leaving this guy, this axle here, until I get the new one. And then I'll haul it to get recycled. All right, I'm pretty excited. The trailer parts just arrived today. Here's my axle. Didn't have a box, which I'm guessing is normal, but that just came in. And then here's my leaf springs, along with all their hardware that I need to put it together. All right, so now it's time to get this one out. Get the new one in. Yes! Old girl, new girl. We're gonna slide her in and get the, uh, the leaf springs attached, and that should be it. I bolted on these parts, uh, and uh, now I should just be seeing if it lines up with the trailer stuff. Okay. 
So the problem I'm having is this one. This one is uh, spinning from within. And then the last bolt I really couldn't get off because it was kind of worn down. So my buddy BJ came over and grinded it off. Thank you, BJ. Okay, so today we're going to do a test drive with the trailer. Got the bunks on, and because the wheel was kind of offset a little bit, as you can see, I want to check and make sure that it's that it goes well. So Callie's going to back the truck up. We're going to hook it up, and uh, I'm going to ride in the back of the truck and watch the trailer. Let's see how good Callie's backing up skills are. Not bad. Not bad, Callie. So the hub to the trailer is a little broken on the uh, uh, starboard side. So I'm gonna have to fix that, but essentially just a little bit of the weld has, has kind of come apart. So it just keeps tapping. So I just put a little bungee cord on it for now. That should be it. That's the last bit of stuff I need to do for the trailer. Got the rugs on. Um, for the uh, the one that goes by here, I think the one I got wasn't quite long enough to reach out and over the edges, but I stapled it on this side, stapled it on the other side, and should be fine because the boat will just sit on top of it. Um, whereas these other ones, I feel like are going to be taking the majority of the uh, of the angles on stuff. So we'll see. I might need to switch it up. But that's a simple change there. But yep, looking good. Got this guy on here now, which is awesome. So, ready to go. That's it for this one. Up next, I am going to try to rig the boat for the first time, take it out sailing. Uh, probably gonna do that in a couple of weeks. So, thanks for watching.